and one of the best examples to look at collective transformation is the process in biology that is called metamorphosis when something like a caterpillar becomes a butterfly the two are quite different a caterpillar is like a worm a butterfly is a very magical creature with beautiful colors that flies this is what happens at a certain point in its development a caterpillar becomes very greedy it starts to consume more than it needs and when its consumption exceeds its metabolic needs the caterpillar's body starts to die and it starts to liquefy but within the body of the caterpillar there are a few cells <coughs> here and there that scientists refer to as the imaginal cells imaginal cells because these imaginal cells are dreaming a new reality literally these imaginal cells they vibrate in a different frequency of consciousness and when the caterpillar's body recognizes these imaginal cells they attack them the immune cells of the caterpillar they attack the imaginal cells but because the imaginal cells are vibrating at a different frequency they remain immune to the onslaught soon the immune cells give up a critical threshold then something magical happens a gene a genetic code that has been lying dormant in the body of the caterpillar it wakes up and in that genetic code is the information for wings is the information for a new heart the information for antenna the information for legs the information for a new meta metabolic rate because the metabolic rate of a flying creature has to be different from the metabolic rate of a worm all that is coded in the gene and the gene which was sleeping wakes up because of the connectivity of the imaginal cells and as the rest of the body of the caterpillar starts to die then the imaginal cells they start to use the dying carcass of the caterpillar as their nutritive soup and soon a butterfly emerges with the flight to freedom you are the imaginal cells so please start to imagine the new reality <laughs>